Okay, this is another uh, question that they will ask on the uh, GED test uh, that has to do with reading a graph and understanding the initial points and the rates of increase. So they'll give you uh, many choices. Uh, so that for instance they might say compared to investment B, investment A had a lesser initial investment and a lesser rate of increase. So you have to decide if that's true. So I'll just uh, cut to the chase and show you how to figure this out. So basically the initial value is going to be uh, when time equals zero. So for A, which is this line here, A has a lesser value initially and B is up here so it has a higher value initially. So we can say that the uh, B's initial investment is higher than A's. But then the other thing you have to consider is the rate of increase. So you have to know how to interpret rate of increase. So basically, a rate of increase of zero would be like a flat line going this way. And then as the rate of increase increases, it increases like this. So it kind of goes up. Then if the rate is decreasing, it goes down. So basically you can still have a positive increase and then kind of a more positive increase. So in this case, we look at uh, B and that has kind of a lesser rate of increase because if you wanted to compare angles, well, you have to increase the angle to get uh, along the A line. So basically A starts lower but it has a greater rate of increase. B starts higher and it has a lower rate of increase. So you just kind of have to look. So if you wanted to add in more examples, you could have an investment C where it starts out high and has a, a decreasing rate or you could have uh, another investment C where it starts out low but it doesn't decrease as quickly as a, a C does so you know if you were going to make an investment they're both bad investments but C is the worst because it, 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 uh, it goes down faster than D does, so you're going to lose your money faster. So basically you just have to think about the uh, starting points, and what makes sense there, and then know that you know as the line increases this way you've got a uh, greater increase and then as it goes down you get a decrease. So basically you got a flat line then you know that's one rate of increase and that's a higher rate of increase and then that's a rate of decrease and this is a higher rate of decrease so this means it's going to drop faster this line goes up faster so you know you just have to kind of get comfortable with how those ang uh, the slopes of the lines change to match the information